For a lot of rental companies around the area, you're required to show as much as three times the amount of rent in income. For most folks, coming up with enough to rent an apartment like these means coming up with a lot of money. So I'll call you in just a minute and you come inside and pick up, all right? Thank you. Stephanie Motley is the oh, assistant manager at Double D's, the double-decker coffee dessert bar in downtown Asheville. I mean, I'm in my 40s, you know, and I've got a family, and uh, we just never were able to buy, and then now it's just, you know, I don't know if we'll ever be able to. She is one of many who feel the growing gap between cost and wages. Yeah, it's getting just, you know, harder and harder for, for everybody. Um, especially people, you know, in the service industry. According to a new study provided by the Asheville Chamber of Commerce, Asheville is now the most expensive metro area in North Carolina. However, it's number five in wages. As a region, our wages have lagged our state and our nation for, for decades. Clark Duncan with the Chamber of Commerce sees a longer term solution. Growing strategic parts of our economy, so we're raising the wages uh, and quality of life of our residents. Stephanie is a mom with four kids. For her, the needs are more immediate. So if rent is $2,000, you have to prove that you're bringing home $6,000. And who brings that home in Asheville that is actually working here? It's a reality that she says has many moving away. The best solution, says the chamber, is to attract new business that'll pay more. We have a really highly educated demographic and a really highly skilled workforce, uh, which is going to continue to make us attractive to those higher wage industries. Now, according to the Area Chamber of Commerce, by now in the year 2030, the population is supposed to grow to about 500,000 people here in the metropolitan area. And what that means with more people coming in and demand going up, prices are unlikely to go down. In Asheville, Charles Perez, News 13.